What's up, everybody? Jason here for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Another break sold out here. 2023 Panini Donners Football Hobby. Three box break, two round teams each, number eight. And we're chasing some Stroud. I believe number seven was from a fresh case, so good chances of getting one here, guys. So here we go, guys. Here's the dice roll. And it's a two and a six, eight times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I doubled up your names, guys, to make it 32. Six and a two. Karen down to Wesley. Eight times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Rams, Texans. All right, so Karen, you have the Rams. David with the Ravens. Christopher with the Falcons. Michael L. with the Panthers. Daniel, you have the Cardinals. Mark with the Commanders. Chris, last ball mojo, Jaguars. Daniel with the Browns and Chargers. Mark with the Lions. TJ with the Steelers. Eric with the 49ers. Michael with the Cowboys. Daniel with the Patriots and Titans. Mark with the Vikings. Wesley with the Packers. Eric with the Eagles. Daniel with the Chiefs and Raiders. Uh, David Yang, you have the uh, Jets. Eric with the Bills. Christopher with the Bears. Eric with the Giants. Chris with the uh, Broncos. Karen with the Dolphins. Mark with the Saints. Eric with the Bengals. TJ with the Seahawks. Eric with the Colts. Daniel with the Bucks. And then Wesley with the Houston Texans right at the bottom. Good luck, guys. Yeah, I, I don't think anybody's saying the same old lines no more, Mike. I know I try to stay humble, but... I. This is not the same old Lions team. We all know that. This is a championship contending, Super Bowl contending Lions team now. And again, same thing for them. They're probably going to take some hits too. Your guys' coordinator might become a head coach. <laughs> you know? Even both coordinators actually. Uh, so as I'm saying, like it's just sometimes when, you're, when you have such a great season, you just have to try to win it all because – you know that the team next year is going to be totally different. Even if you keep the same core people, it's going to be a totally different team. Always. It's never the same. Players, Teams never retain the same players. And obviously, you know, the drafting new players, it's, it's always different. But the mentality will not be the same old lines. I thought that dude retired. Trevor Noah's leaving again? Or he's leaving? Alright, I'm assuming no trades in, right guys? Let's just close the trade window.
Nothing on there now, huh? For sure, Mike. That's the only team I would have uh, any little beef connection with, right? Because of the Eagles last year and the Eagles this year, but I've I've always kind of secretly rooted for the Lions the last few years, ever since that Stafford trade. I like golf. So, yeah. I'm rooting for a, for a Ravens Lions Super Bowl. I mean, it would be even better to beat Patrick Mahomes, but I just don't see the Chiefs winning. Although you can never count out Patrick Mahomes, but. <sighs> Alright, guys, so these are three box breaks, right? So one, two, three, four, five. Five different stacks. This is stack five. So I'm gonna roll a die. If it lands on a six, we'll just re-roll it again, okay guys? Five. Making my life easier. Look, man, the fact that the Chiefs even got back to the AFC Championship is freaking impressive. I know they expect to win it all still every single year. That's the expectations because they have done that. The last X amount of years, gone to Super Bowls, but I think the Ravens are an entirely different beast this year. I'd be really shocked if the. I mean, I think the only way the Ravens lose is if they beat themselves, honestly. You know, if like Lamar has a horrible game and it's not even because of the Chiefs, it's just himself. Maybe some injuries. Because like I said, this this Ravens team is legit, man. I mean, look what they did to the 49ers. In prime time, in San Francisco too. I think that right there is what made me be like, damn, this Ravens team's good. <laughs> like I know they still lost a few games this year. You know, no one's gonna go undefeated. But I think it's awesome, man. I feel like he did it to kind of keep the cameras off of Taylor Swift. I think he said, I'm going to be the person that they're going to be recording and looking at this week, this week, you know. And he's enjoying himself, man, you know. Cheering on his little brother. I love it. I don't think Travis ever gets that wild, but Travis is going to come to a couple of Eagles games when, when he has a bye week or, you know. Not in the playoffs anymore, although that hasn't happened in a little bit. And then honestly, to be honest, I wouldn't doubt it if Jason Kelsey does the same thing this week because I forget. Uh, they're in Baltimore, right? Baltimore is like a 30, 40 minute drive from Philly. Maybe an hour, right? So, <laughs> you could probably just drive from home and go to this game.
Definitely, he's up there for sure, man. There's a lot of great coaches that deserve it, but I'm sure he's like, I don't give a shit about that, bro. Super Bowl, baby. It's the only award I care about winning. That's probably the mentality he's going to have. Look, man, when you made it this far, no matter if it has been the Lions or it's been the Chiefs, right? You made it this far, your expectation is go all the way. Like I was saying, Mike, you know, the, the core pieces for the, for the Lions will be there next year, but you can't say that their coordinators will be there next year. You know, you can't say... Some players aren't going to leave for free agency. Uh, you're going to draft some new players. It's, it's never going to be the same exact team. So, it's like, it's got to go all the way, man. That way, like, if you do lose your coordinators and you do lose certain players that are potentially free agents, it doesn't sting as much when you win a Super Bowl, you know? That's how my friends felt when, they, when, the, when the Rams won that Super Bowl. Although, man, Bengals should have won that Super Bowl. Um, if you know when the Rams won that Super Bowl, that's all the mentality that Rams fans had here in LA when they had that off year last year. They were just like, "It's all right, we won the Super Bowl last year. We're good. I'll worry about the Rams the next year." And that's how that's how it was for one of my one of my one of my best friends. Big Rams guy was so happy when they won, right? But he didn't. He was just like, eh, "I'm not even paying attention to football this next year because I knew they were gonna be bad. They lost everything. They lost all these players. And, you know, no draft picks." But we won a Super Bowl, so, you know, we, we could take a year off. And that's what, honestly, some teams are about, too. I mean, don't talk to the Chiefs about that, but that's how some teams can treat it. Jalen Hyatt. <clears throat> For the Giants. And a little Justin Fields. Jersey Kings. For the Bears. Running Christopher. And then a little uh, DTR. Tank Dell. I hope you guys get it, buddy. I'll be rooting for you guys this weekend. Although, I don't know if I'll be watching it, but I'll be rooting. Puka Nakua. Set up with the militia. You know, it looks like the f kind of like uh, chrome is coming off on the back of this card. But how about a little Jordan Addison? Vikings going to Mark. So I don't know if you noticed that, Mark. That's just from Panini like that. I'm sure you can actually get that fixed, though. So what I'll do is I'll send a pack. And... I'll rip off the CPU stag tag on there, a little stamp. And then you can tell them, hey, I got this on a group break. Breaker sent this and this. I want to get this replaced, you know? Because they should be able to send you a replacement. And then we got a Anthony Richardson. Honestly, Mike, the Raiders ain't going to have no dynasty. Sad to say it. <laughs> until the four Chiefs are gone. Until the Mahomes dynasty is over. The fact that you have to play against that man two times a year and have to go through them every single year. Anthony Richardson. Every team in the AFC is cooked until they totally obliterate that team. 
And it could be coming to an end soon, but... Look how much damage they've done already. Michael Parsons. Trey Tucker. That's like, that's like feeling like a Jet fan, Bills fan, you know, Dolphins fan when Tom Brady was there with the Patriots. Plain tune. Jackson Smith and the Jigba. Matt, no name. Manuel Forbes. Tyler Scott. And then Michael Parsons there. Number to fifty nine. Next box. Eugene Cyril Smith, the third. That's a short print, right? Gino, for short. <laughs> Jackson Smith, the Jigba. Bijan. And Aiden O'Connell, Bomb Squad, there, number to 100. That's sick right there. Right is going to Daniel. Daniel A.D. Anthony Munoz, number to 189. Russell Gage. How about Tyreek Hill patch autograph? Jersey Kings. Nice three-color patch there, too. Two out of ten. The Cheetah. Dolphins going to Karen Steele. It's nice right there, Karen. Very nice. I don't have to get a Tyreek Hill patch autograph. B. John Robinson, nice one there for the Falcons, going to Christopher E. Anthony Richardson, nice Jameer Gibbs. Lions going to Mark M. Gabe Davis, no name, and a C.J. Stroud, nice to the rookies.
Tyler Boyd. It's 100. Nice Bijan. All right, to my knowledge, too, I don't think Joe hit a downtown in the first three. Obviously, I'm doing the next three. So, if that is the case, we have plenty of boxes to try to get one. All right, next one here. Plane two. Devontae Smith. Laporta to one hundred. Marcus. Chris Rodriguez Jr. for the Commanders. And a Zay Flowers, rookie Phenoms patch autograph for the Ravens going to David Yang. There you go, man. A little something there. And all pro kings, Bobby Wagner for the Seahawks. So three ninety nine Seahawks. That's gonna go to uh, T J. Porter, Dalton Kincaid. Xavier McKinney. Jalen Hurts. Joey Porter Jr. Red. DK Metcalf, no name. Uh, last stack here. Richardson Bomb Squad. Derek Henry, Mike Williams. Chargers. All right. No downtown, but some nice autographs, though. Zay Flowers, that uh, Tyree Kill patch auto was pretty sweet. A lot of top rookies and little inserts and stuff that we're sleeving up to top load. But like I said, I did post up another one, guys. If you guys want to run it back, no downtown yet to my knowledge. So I think Joe popped it open yesterday or the day before. Nothing here either as well. So let's get the next one rolling, guys. Thank you guys so much. And I'll top load all these relics, but Zay Flowers. Actually, all uh, all uh, receivers. Two rookies and one vet there. There's the relics. Appreciate it, guys.